Welcome to another video. So on screen we have James Gunn, and if you don't know who he is, he's the writer-director behind such films as Guardians of the Galaxy. Lately I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube very angry at him for his decision to fire Henry Cavill as Superman. Right? There's a lot of channels commenting and saying, oh, I was wrong, it was a bad idea, Henry Cavill is the best Superman. Oh, they're really mad at James Gunn. You know what I don't see, though? I don't see anybody saying why this guy is even around. Why is he even relevant right now? After this, you see what I've highlighted up here? I would have thought this guy would have disappeared and remained in obscurity. Like, you know, being in a basement somewhere working in a crematorium. Nobody knows his name. You know, with the old leather apron on, soot all over his face, hair damn mess. That's what I imagine would happen to him. But no, here he is in the limelight as the head of the DCU. How did he get such a good job? Right? I mean, regardless of your skill, if you put out tweets like this, let's go to them so I can give you context. Read those two highlighted statements for me. And tell me if you think an adult with such a disgusting mindset should be put and elevated at the head of a franchise such as the DCU. You tell me. Be honest. You got a chance to read it? He said those things. He did. Grown man. And yet, this guy saw it fit to give him this job. Now, why do you think that is? I don't know, maybe because they don't give a shit about what the American people think, or your children for that matter. All they're concerned about is being able to make more money, right? You're nothing but your Benjamins or whatever you have in your pocket. That's all that matters. How much merchandise can they get you to buy? How many tickets are you and your family going to buy at the next movie? That's it. His past is irrelevant. But you know what's funny, though? These are the same people, David Zaslav, right? This is... This is his ethnicity. These are the same people. If you make a joke... As Dave Chappelle did, right? Partial. He's actually right here. Yeah. That's gun. That's this one. These are the same people. That if you make a joke, you're canceled. Right? Your Balenciaga deal gets dropped. Your Gap deal gets dropped. Your Adidas deal gets dropped. But this guy can say this. And now he is at the head of DCU. Isn't that amazing? I find that very interesting. Forget about a double standard. This is beyond double standard. This guy has actually been elevated to a position where he has full control. After this, like you think his mindset has changed? Since he wrote this, he's a grown man. He's a grown man writing this, not some, you know, young teenager or some cracking jokes. He's a grown man. Honestly. I'm sure now he knows to hide it properly, whatever fetishes that he has. Because he will come under scrutiny for it. And as we see with what happened with Balenciaga and... Gucci, yeah, these things come out, but if you can get a position like that afterwards, then I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Not important. Anyways, I just wanted to make this video because I saw all this and I'm like, look at all these idiots. This is their outrage about Henry Cavill getting fired. The only person that should be making a video is Henry Cavill, right? Because I think he got dropped 
from The Witcher, which is on Netflix, and for the next Superman movie. So I'm sure he's the one that should be pissed, if anything, but this right here? This is what I'm upset at. As soon as I saw his name, I'm like, is this guy really in the limelight again? I don't think he should have that job. I think he should disappear into obscurity forever. That's what I think. Anyways, if you want some more content like this, some raw truth, hard facts, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and share the video with everyone you know. People like this, yeah, you gotta keep a close eye on them. Especially when they get elevated to these positions. Let's wait and see what happens. Until next time, I'm out.